Good day and welcome to my garage. The patterns for the uh, universal compound, the, uh, the slide ways, you know, uh, yeah, the slide ways, and then the uh, compound slide. Just gluing this up at the present moment. Got a piece of one inch or 25.4 mil, or 25 mil actually. This is um, piece in here. Give me that 25 mil gap. Um, so yes, just waiting for that to set, and um, we're on our way. You would have seen these two pads in the last clip. I, uh, I had clamps on them and uh, gluing these two pads on. That's incorrect. They're not glued on. Luckily I caught this in the first half hour, uh, three quarters of an hour after gluing it. Um, the glue hadn't, hadn't fully set so I was able to get these off in one piece. So we're hanging on tight. Um, these these two are the cape side. So that's that gets laid up in the in the drag, clipped over. These are these are pinned, and they will fit into the receiving holes on that side, and then the capes um, laid up. So yes, in the last clip I showed these were glued, they're not glued, they're still got to be one inch apart, but they're pinned, okay, don't make my mistake, yeah, okay, so we've got three and three eighths, less than an inch, less the second inch, it's two inches, it's one and three eighths, that is one and three eighths, so he's, he hasn't allowed for any clearance. So technically you could say, okay, we'll move that sixteenth uh, of an inch, hundred thou, an eighth, uh, no, no, what's a sixteenth? Can't remember now. Anyhow, we could move move that uh, both sides out, but the but the problem is. He's got the ways offset to this seven sixteenths on one side. So that's going to going to push it over on this side. And that will offset the center of this tunnel to the center of the screw. That's not going to work. So if I push that back again, centre of the screw is still slightly out. That was a 5 8 distance for that curve, plus the 2 inches, 2 and 5 8, and what do we say, 3 and 3 8, so that's 5 8, 3 8, 6 eighths, that's 3 quarters. So this side was 3 quarters and that side was, uh, this, this side was 5 8 offset to that edge that makes that one 3 quarters off, offset so it's, it's offset this way by 1 8 isn't it um, I don't know I've got to draw this up I'm getting confused well here we have the uh Gingery's universal compound slide for the milling machine. This, when it's uh, cast and machined and up and running, turns the milling machine into a lathe or a pseudo lathe. Um, so, <coughs> I don't have a, 
so much of a problem, something to be uh, careful of uh, with these things, the, um, with this particular thing. We'll just take these off for the moment. That's, um, that's for the, uh, the pads for the uh, uh, tool rest as part of that casting. So this is the slide casting. Block. This is the timber pattern and that's the swivel and that's the universal base. So the universal base is not a uh, problem at the moment um, or something we need to uh, work around, be careful. Um, the reason I'm doing, I'm showing this is that And that's the that's the screw screw support. Just put a bit of support under, under there. Um, so and that's the screw support that fits there. So this all has to the centre of this tunnel has to line up with the uh, the centre of the screw support. All right, so let's just put that to one side for a moment. So here we have an overhead view of that. Um, there's my pencil. So this uh, brown area here, that's the, um, uh, the tunnel of the swivel. Um, compound swivel and the blue area here yep yeah, we're in picture the blue area here is the um, uh, is the screw screw support so we need to line this up with the center of that um, tunnel so let's go to this drawing this drawing you may be able to um, may be able to see yeah you should be able to see that all right let's keep you in in frame all right so uh, we have the compound slide the ways the clamps um, this circular area here is the uh, screw support with a square mounting block behind it and then the tunnel and the base. I've uh, drawn this to how, um, um, how it comes out in Gingery's uh, book, the instructions. So at the present moment we have a slight gap over over here, it's, uh, about 62 thou, I think it was. We do have a uh, quarter inch gap on this side. Now, first thing, compound slide is three and three eighths wide. If you take the tunnel at one and three eighths and the one inch clamp and the one inch clamp we have a total of three and three eighths so obviously then with these clamps on and keeping inside the line of the compound slide there is no there is no clearance for the clamps they'll be hard up against the uh, casting of the um, of the tunnel now Maybe uh, due to uh, aluminium shrinkage, there will end up being a, um, a clearance there. I don't know. I'm just drawing it straight out of the book, so we we don't have a clearance a clearance there. Um, why have I got? Ah, that clearance 62 thou clearance there is because. If I'm staying inside the the, uh, the size of this compound slide, these cl this clamp stops the slide from coming over further to fill that gap. 
Now I could push the ways over to the right to fill that gap and that would create a larger gap here but that's not a problem because the um, um, the gib screws the gib goes in here and the gib screws uh, go in there so um, um, just lost lost where I was. So uh, yeah getting getting back to this. So if I move the ways further over to fill that gap I then reduce the contact area which is about 188 thou. Uh, between the clamp and the uh, and the ways, so that's that's a fairly that's a fairly small. What's uh, 188? So 125 is is one eighth. Um, probably about three three sixteenths of contact there now, and that's with no gap. Uh, in here and no gap over there and yeah but that's not going to work so we'll leave the way if I leave the ways uh, where they are I have a gap over there so what I've done on the pattern is and because I'm going to go uh, Queensland and I'm in New South Wales I've got to go to, uh, I'm going to Queensland anyhow to visit my daughter and grandchildren and son-in-law Son-in-law has a milling machine in his workshop, so I'll put an extra piece of timber in there. Well, actually, I've already done it, <coughs> and I can mill mill that out on his uh, milling machine. And um, uh, I could have put extra material on the sides of the ways. I was going to do that, uh, make it about three and a half inches um, wide, because it's three and three eighths. So I could have made it three and a half inches wide, but um, I forgot to do that. Uh, I, I could make this three and a half inches wide. Uh, the reason I, uh, I'm talking about that is the size of these clamps is fairly small. Um, or are they? No, they're not. No, I just dropped the screw support. No, no, these clamps are okay. Uh, so, yes, I could um, uh, make this wider, but then all I'm achieving is keeping the, the one-inch clamps inside the outside size of the, of the compound slide. So all I'll do is just move the, um, the clamps out to give me clearance, so I'll set this. I'll set this up. Um, that gap will be filled in. It already it is in the um, in here. I've already put the extra pieces of timber in, and um, I can mill that out to out to size. Now, so staying with this drawing, this screw support is about 60 thou off to one side, 65 thou, something like that. So I need to move it over. You must remember that that screw support, which I threw on the, on the ground, excuse me for a moment, while I pick it up, that screw support has to, uh, well, has to, Needs, it needs to be the size of that uh, tongue, can't be any, it will look terrible if it's larger. Um, so I have actually put extra material on to make it too big. Again, I can machine that on, on the lathe or the milling machine. Uh, and by doing that, I've now got an opportunity of moving the centre 
of the screw support to line up with the centre of the of the tunnel, wherever that will end up. Um, if it's, and I think it will be, it will be off to uh, one side, but that's it won't, won't be too much. 60 thou, I can live with that. Uh, that was 60 thou offset. So um, that's that's it for the for the compound slide. We'll see how that works out. Catch you later. All right, I've uh, I've vented the drag. The coat pieces are in. So sprinkle with uh, parting dust, kindly donated by uh, Joe, a YouTube follower. Thank you very much, Joe. So this is the compound slide. Let's see what we've got. came out good too. I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to machine that on uh, the son-in-law's milling machine so there's extra metal there but the, uh, but the, the casting come out quite good. Well that was nice. Better than the last bloke. Okay, what can you see? So, not, not bad. A little bit of rubbish along those edges, but that's all right. That that just rubbish off the side. That comes off pretty easy. Yeah. Um, Nice casting. Bit of cleaning up. It's uh, nowhere near a uh, professional finish on it, but for what I do and the castings I've done in the past, that is a good casting. 
Okay, we have the compound slide. The rest of it gets uh, cleaned up in Queensland. I've got to square that up. It's not square. Alright, I'll square it up. Catch you later. And just cleaning up the uh, screw support. to get overly um, excited with this because it, it'll go on a face plate that needs to be uh, bored the outside surface needs to be brought down to 38 millimeters um, one of these two sides is a, um, a mounting point to the the plate of the cross slide the compound slide so they'll have to be mounted on the face plate and face one side faced off so I won't be getting too excited just getting the the uh, the bigger edges off the dags as we say okay That'll give me something to work with. That surface seems to be pretty good. That, that could be a mounting surface. Alright. We've got enough aluminium dust around here now. Got to clean up. <laughs> 